Good morning. It's 10.36 a.m. on the 7th of June. And I'm gonna make today a bit more productive than yesterday. Ah, the chicken brought her teenage chick. Oh, she's so pretty. I have one and a half of these sachets left. So I think I would have to go to the store tomorrow. Cereal breakfast and coffee again. The weather's hot. I just washed my face and I'm already sweating. On the plus side, I'm doing laundry today and they're gonna be so crispy. I have something to show you. It's a sewing machine! I have a sewing machine! I usually have it in the corner of my room on the floor covered, but today I'm taking it out because I would like to mend my shorts. Join me! Here we go! So my sewing machine is powered by electricity. I've connected it to a power source and now I'm trying to set up the threads and everything. It has been a while since the last time I sewed, so I spent a little bit of time figuring out if things were in the right position, where the threads were, what the needle size was. I think the camera was so appalled by my lack of skills that it went into a mini seizure about here. But the rest of the video is smooth, thankfully. After figuring out the right position, I just started sewing. My mom taught me how to sew a little bit when I was about 12 or 13, but didn't really learn that much. And in Malaysian schools, we have this life skills class, or y'all Malaysians know this, it's Kemahilan Hidup. And you do learn a little bit of sewing, a little bit of woodwork, a little bit of like calculating your electricity bills and how you get your bills based on the tariffs and whatnot. And you can also choose which of these you would like to go more into. I chose the home economics one. So girls, I am ekonomi rumatanga yardi at that time. And I did learn to sew a little bit in like a formal education setting kind of way. But my machine sewing was not very nice during schools. Sometime last year, I wanted to practice sewing again so that I could mend and maybe even sew my own clothes. And that's also the reason why I asked my mom <laughs> for her help to buy this sewing machine. It's a very nice one and it's portable so I can take it with me as I move. And it has so many stitches. I'm still exploring, still practicing how to do it right. But at least I can mend my own clothes. Here I'm almost done with the sewing. I've already patched up the hole. And what's left afterwards is just to finish it, to make sure the edges don't fray, and get rid of any extra threads that have knots. Yeah, so here I am. Then, no more holes in my shorts. I got a bit confident and I decided to mend a pencil case that had a hole in it for a while. I haven't been using this pencil case, I turned it inside out. And I've cut out the fabric part that had the frayed fabric. Now this pencil case was made up of two layers. The outside is kind of a nylon fabric and the inside is kind of like plastic canvas thingy. It took some figuring out which side I wanted to start on and I basically did that. Patching up the hole was not really a huge problem. The issue was I got too confident with the sewing and tried to sew near the zipper but that got the zipper stuck in the machine and um, after carefully prying it open careful not to break the machine I thankfully got it out cleaned the rest of the pencil case and now I'm going to hold up the pencil case to the screen to show you what a not terrible job I've done yay Lunch is egg and there's also some sambal sarai underneath. <laughs> 
Some of you may wonder why I still keep posting clips of this bitchlet, even though I said I'll only focus on the highlights. That's cause this bitch is my highlight. Okay, let's go. Bitchling and bitchlet are so cute. Orange one is bitchling, white one is bitchlet. I dried the laundry outside around 4 p.m. just now and I was sweating a bit so I thought I would lie down and rest and I ended up taking a two-hour nap. It's now 6.30. I'm gonna check the laundry and see if it's dry and then bring them in if they are. I don't know why but the people in my neighborhood love to burn their rubbish. I'm not sure if it will show on the screen but it looks a bit like um, grayish. Yeah, you see that? That's not fog. That's smoke. Towels and shirts are all dry, I think, but these pants, uh, shorts are still wet. a bit lazy so I laid down and then I sneezed while I laid down and my body just hurts my back hurts my ab hurts not from exercise just from taking one sneeze while lying down did I just sleep wrong hi it's you instead of your sister hello you're not like your sister, huh? You let me pet you. Okay, okay, but for a price, she says. Mm. Such a pretty girl. Mm. I was just thinking what I wanted to have for dinner. And I thought, oh, I don't really have appetite for anything. Like, what's, what am I tasting? What am I feeling? And then that got me paranoid. Like, oh my gosh, did I lose my sense of taste? Because I don't know what to eat. So since I'm in the kitchen, I just took some salt down my finger and licked it. Good news is, I still have my sense of taste. Bad news is, I just licked some salt. She saw me recording a bit for the vlog and she's looking at me like I'm crazy. Now she's pretending she wasn't looking at me. Panday lako kavura. Am I mentally crumbling? Or am I lonely? Or am I hungry? Here's my dinner. Simple aglio olio. So this would look like very simple and plain aglio olio to you, which it is. It is the most basic things you would want to have in an aglio olio, which is olive oil and garlic. Usually you could also put in cherry tomatoes. You could have basil as like a garnish. Or most usually what you find here is people would add shrimp, prawns, chicken, or even other types of meat to kind of have something else to buy. But since I haven't bought groceries, I don't really want to waste some of the things. And honestly, this is all I could muster right now. So this is my very cheerful, simple aglio olio. Just finished the pasta. Was it like the best aglio olio I've ever had? Was it decent? But what's most important is I ate it, I'm full, and I feel better. Hello friends. I'm not feeling my best today. I think most of it is because I was thinking about when is the next chance for me to go back to Tenom. Right now that feels very unlikely because the cases keep going up and I'm not sure how strict the SOP will be for crossing borders. I do hope I get the chance to go back. But I'm also afraid what will happen if I don't. I may be overthinking this, but I fear that if I don't get to go home this June or July, I might be very worn out by the end of the year. I'm hoping for the best. It does get a bit depressing sometimes, living alone, 
with nothing to do and no one to talk to. But I try to find some ways to pick myself up every day. I do have plans for tomorrow. Tomorrow I plan to drive the car and I plan to buy some groceries. And I think that will improve my mood quite a bit. And I think I will take the risk and visit a couple of friends who are also already vaccinated in Labuan. We'll see how things go. Thanks for taking interest in my vlog. And friends, don't worry about me. It does make me feel low sometimes. But I'll find ways to pick myself back up. Thank you very much for tuning in. Take care, stay safe, and good night.